All right, we're heading to the train. There's Central Station right there, the red, crossing the street. Hopefully we can get on the train. All right, I got my train pass. Train leaves at noon, so now I'm gonna try to get some food. Holy, Holy smack, smack, a pita pit. A pita pit. I love pita pit. I love pita pit. When I was in Canada, I used to always, Canada, always, I used to always go to pita pit. Go to they pita don't pita have pita. it in America. Americas hate pitas for some reason. So I'm stoked. I found a pita pit. It's only it opens at 11 though, so I gotta wait. They drive on the wrong side of the road, not the right side of the road. And people walk on the wrong side of the road too, so you gotta be careful, otherwise you bump into people and people look at you funny. All right, I just talked to a nice bloke from Melbourne about those little scooters that we see everywhere. Um, it's just an app and it's 38 cents a minute. So it goes by time and you just, you, uh, you scan a little VR code on the scooter so it knows which one you got and where you are and that's it you zoom around on it pretty cool it's 11 a.m pita pit's not open i'm shattered no one's even in there doing anything now i don't know what to do <laughs> should i wait i don't have much time had to go with subway pita pit Disappointing. So the guy told me to keep an ear out for what they're saying so that you know which track to go on. But the guy's got some wicked Australian accent. I can't understand a goddamn thing the guy's saying. So uh, let's hope there's signage. Okay, I think I got on the right train. Said keep me north. Oh, what's this guy gonna say? No, I didn't say anything. I couldn't understand him anyway. So the train's nice, kind of like an airplane, an older, dirtier airplane, but it's cool. And uh, we got a view of posts. I'm sure there'll be more. Oh, yeah.